Ang, ang maganda naman kapag meron kang accidental death benefit is let's say 1 million tapos ang sum assured mo ay 1 million. If for example si life insured ay na accidente, di ba? He or she gets 2 million, yung standard na 1 million plus yung accidental death benefit na another 1 million. So yung beneficiaries niya will get 2 million pesos. Hello, 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 mga kaarki! Oo, ayan. Oo nga. At uh, simula ng 2023. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Online pa din. Pero abangan ni mga videos na offline. Paparating na. Mabagal lang. <laughs> <laughs> Mabagal lang. Pero alam mo... Sir Adriel, ang mabilis ay ang mga riders, di ba? Pag uh, ay, oh, oh, gusto mo ng food, yan. di ba? Or, Nandyan ano? na. Pero minsan mabagal. Pero kadalasan mabilis. Ay, oo. Oh, <laughs> traffic man. Na. Traffic kasi. Oo, oh, 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 yung mga riders. Mga kaarty, alam niyo ba yung mga riders, di ba? Yung nandyan yung Grab, Lala Move, di ba? Food Panda. Yes. Yung mga usong-uso ngayon, di ba? Nagkaganan ka ba, Sir Adria? Umu-order ka ba sa mga ating mga riders? Oo naman. no Mga suki natin, Grab at Food Panda rider, no? kinakausap natin. Pero iba yung rider na kausapin natin at ibidiscuss natin today. No? Di siya yung... Ay, pa ba? Na... Oo, Kala ko tungkol sa mga delivery riders pag-uusapan natin. <laughs> Pwede naman, delivery to your policy. Yun. <laughs> Ah, yun. So, Policy. Oh. So, iba, so, mga ka-archy, hindi na discuss natin today. Ay, yung mga insurance riders, no? Kung ano ba sila, sino nga ba sila, and paano natin sila gagamitin. So, mm-hmm. so how are riders? Are, yes. Uh-huh. No? So, ano nga ba yung mga insurance riders, no? So, just a brief overview hindi sila yung grab at food panda writer natin no but the concept is still there <laughs> um but ito yung mga additional benefits no now we can add to your insurance policy and they are all optional no but even if they are optional they can be excluded no um simply because of your um, insurance risk na tinatawag natin so, what are examples of insurance risk? So, um, the top of mind I have right now if oh my, ano ka na, um, pre-existing medical condition. No? So, if you have, let's say, uh, diabetes or history of hypertension or stroke. So, there are some riders na hindi ka na pwede or tataas yung babayarin mo no? on them. So, additional riders or additional benefits that means additional payment then on top of your insurance premium. So we have a lot of them right now in the Philippines. So we have your um, your most common is your um, accident and death or accident and disability rider. Um, meron din yung critical illness na rider, no? And then meron din waiver of premium. So these three are the most common. Um, where there are also mga special na um, riders yung naisip ko was yung sa Sun Life na life benefit rider um, if I recall correctly ito yung um, rider na pang minsan free siya uh, because yun nga um, it's just like a free rider that um, goes on top of your policy already that it has something to do with waiving the premiums and then uh, my additional, I think, insurance benefit. But again, Sun Life advisors are watching me. Please correct me and then comment it down below. Medyo matagal na yun kasi. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if in case uh, something happens where you cannot pay yung premium pala, uh, may waiver of premium to do that. You know? But again, yung details nitong riders nito varies from one insurance company to another. So always consult your uh, insurance agent no? regarding this one. Di, wala namang rider na, ano, free rider na. 
may ano uh, sila, may purpose sila sa policy mo. Ayun, oh. So ulitin natin mga ka-arky, yung binanggit ni Sir Adriel, yung mga common riders. Ito yung mga critical illness benefit. Ito yung accidental death benefit. Uh, total disability benefit. Waiver yes. of premium. And um, life benefit, no? Uh, major right. rare yung um, life benefit na rider. Um, mm. Mostly sa Sun Life lang siya. Uh, but the other four that you mentioned, common siya across all uh, insurance companies. Oh. And um, siguro ang tanong ng ating mga ka eh, maganda ba or better ba na kapag kukuha ko ng insurance, lahat yun? Diba? Kapag inalok ako mm. ng, ng uh, friend mo, ng friend ko na isang life insurance agent or uh, financial advisor, eh kukunin ko na yun. Kasi, di ba, sa pag-explain ni Sir Adrian, mukhang, uh, mukhang it, kailangan kong kunin lahat yun, pilihin lahat yun. Ano bang tip natin dyan uh, sa ating mga ka uh, Good question, no? And the quickest analogy I can give there is, di naman pwede nag-order tayo lahat sa Grab, na rider sa food panda na rider no or both no medyo mahirap yan dahil it will cause anxiety ganun din sa pagpili ng insurance rider uh, pipili lang tayo kung ano yung um, nakaka-benefit sa atin no if i need let's say health insurance right now pero um, hindi ko afford yung policy meron namang critical illness rider to do it for you no it also acts as well as a proxy life insurance din no? Um, just in case um, something happens to you when you get sick, tapos namatay ka, of course, part din yun sa payout. Um, but if you need, let's say, medyo, um, you feel like, ma, sana no na on wood, hindi naman mangyari, um, pupunta ka sa mga accident-prone areas, so baka kailangan mo ng total disability rider. You know? um, kaya importante na, um, tanungin kay agent, no, ano yung okay na rider for me? What is the best fit rider for uh, for me? Or kapag nakoconsult na sa atin, pwede na natin i-review, no? Kung tama ba yung insurance rider na to para oh, sa kliyente uh, natin. Because oh, if kasi, I remember correctly, you can remove the riders, but you cannot, um, how do you say this? Um, easily remove or like, um, surrender the policy. So may mm-hmm. option sa client to remove kung hindi niya feel na okay na yung rider. Though you can also add, though again, depende pa rin sa uh, policy ni insurance company. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, no, um, ako, I personally believe no, na um, napakaganda ng critical illness benefit na rider. Uh, lalo na mga ka-arky, no, tingnan natin yung ating immediate family members kung uh, meron sa inyo na nagkaroon ng stroke, uh, cancer, or any other uh, critical illness, di ba? Kasi most probably, uh, kung kunwari uh, about the heart yung illness ng uh, dad or mom mo, baka ikaw rin in the future ay magkaroon. So, best to have a critical illness benefit, di ba? Um, of course, may computation pa yan, Sir ADL, kung magkano dapat, no? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yung amount ng critical illness mo. Uh, pero dyan, uh, I think ang logic dyan is the higher the benefit, the higher the premium na babayaran, di ba, for a certain rider. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Tapos tumataas din to every five years or every year. So be careful and be also um what's the word? Um, reflective, I'm not sure. <laughs> but also um be objective there on choosing your riders then just as you choose your um grab delivery or food panda no? <laughs> kung saan ka oh. deliver. Oo nga, oo nga. And uh Another thing no with the another rider na na encounter ko is yung accidental death benefit no. So uh, from a number of clients nakita ko no na meron silang accidental death benefit. So I think ang ang maganda naman kapag meron kang accidental death benefit is let's say 1 million. Tapos ang sum assured mo ay 1 million. 
if for example si life insured ay na aksidente di ba he or she gets 2 million yung standard na 1 million plus yung accidental death benefit na another 1 million so yung beneficiaries niya will get 2 million pesos so maganda di ba but of course may kaakibat yun ng dagdag premium so dun sa dagdag premium uh, tinatanong natin ng ating mga kaarki kaya ba natin na mas mataas yung premium para lang ma-accommodate yung accidental death benefit. Ang um, isang consideration dyan, uh, tinatanong natin, no? tinatanong ko, ano ba trabaho mo? San ka ba, ano ba usual na ginagawa mo? Kung bahay, office ka lang, may kotse ka naman, hindi ka naman nag-skydiving, or <laughs> you, don't, you don't do extreme sports, baka hindi mo naman kailangan ng accidental death benefit, di ba? So, you yes. may want to forgo it. Lalo na kung tight sa budget. Remember mga ka mm. isa lang ang insurance sa mga fundamentals of personal finance. So, kailangan mag-prepare ka pa ng emergency fund, mag-prepare ka rin for your investment. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, no? And one last thing, no, before we can end this video. Kung isipin nyo lang, no, kung hindi nyo kaya magangkas or mag-enjoy ride, no, to ride, no, um, baka kailangan mo na lang siguro mag-taxi, pagkunta doon, or kung malapit-lapit lang pala, maglakad na lang. So, ganun din sa insurance, no? Pagkuha ng insurance. Kung hindi mo afford si riders, then you can always tell your financial advisor or insurance agent, no? Na nag-aalok sa inyo na, wag na lang muna. No? Baka mm-hmm. pwedeng i-add na lang. In the future, na kaya ko na. No? But again, that also poses the... Um, small risk of again reevaluating no yung policy mo because it it takes you on the day um you get it eh. so if you got your policy age 24 and then you add mas riders age 26 yung magtatanong na si insurance company na mga bagay-bagay but that's again something for another time no? or with you uh-huh. uh-huh. ang um, parting uh, words ko naman sa ating mga kaarki pagdating sa riders Yon tingnan nyo kung kailangan niyo kung kailangan nga niyo magkano yung ideal or optimal para sa inyo. At pangatlo, kung kaya ba ng ating budget yung policy with those riders. Yan. Oo. So mga kaarki, kung medyo nahihirapan kayo kung paano gawin ito, uh, yes, you may email us at admin at wealtharchy.com. We do an insurance audit. And... Kung wala pa kayong insurance, we can also help you find yes. the uh, right insurance product with the, with the necessary riders para sa inyo. Kami na yung parang uh, magsha-shopping para sa inyo uh-huh. para hindi na kayo mahirapan. Yun. So yun lang mga ka Thank you for listening to us. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And see you in the next video, Marian. And see you, mga ka Bye-bye. Ingat. Ingat. Bye-bye.